Last taxi boat for a little while. We're really gonna miss Lamu. here we are staying at tequila sunrise it's this beautiful home that is split into three levels which are three separate accommodations and you can rent out each one or the whole thing but we are in sky cabana which is the top level and Sky Cabana for a reason. While the bedroom and the kitchen, bathroom and whatnot is closed off and in a structure, you have this whole outdoor area to yourself, a private pool and a really, really sick view. table is actually made out of an old canoe so that's going to be a great space to work and to eat. You have these huge amazing looking loungers, stunning pool and the whole time that you're up here you're just looking out at this view of white sands and beautiful blue ocean. like very very interesting neighbors who are just like right here staring into our property <laughs> family of colobus monkeys we were warned on the Airbnb listing that if you're afraid of monkeys don't come here because the people that work here told us that they actually know how to open doors so even if you leave your stuff in your room and you leave nothing out here because they'll take it they can still get in so lock your doors but yeah they just hang out in this huge bow bag I mean, there's literally like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> what a good greeting committee. All right, now, it's pretty windy. Now, let me show you the room. I just can't believe we have this place all to ourselves. And so here you have a second seating area, something a little bit more like a dining table, because that's kind of more like bar stools. We have this really, really cool outdoor cooking area with a little mini barbecue. We're definitely going to use that. We did a bunch of grocery shopping before coming here. Then, I'll show you the kitchen first. See, 
signs here to beware of the monkeys. And as you see, it's locked because they can open it. pots and pans, a fridge, everything we need. And in Lamu, we didn't really have a kitchen for us to use, so it's actually gonna be really nice cooking again, because we ate out all the time. And this is our air-conditioned room. Sky Cabana tour, and now I guess we'll take you to the beach with us. So we're just coming out of our room to go to the kitchen and make dinner, and there's this really weird but beautiful patch of rainbow in the sky. So it's not a rainbow, it more, it's just like um, a cloud that is a rainbow. Super weird. It's, I don't know what that is and I've never seen that before. Oh, well, okay, now it's expanding and it's getting bigger. Cloud iridescence is a colorful optical phenomenon that occurs in a cloud and appears in the general proximity of the sun or moon. The colors resemble those of soap bubbles so on the water surface. Photometeor. Sunlight passes through raindrops in the sky and the lights split into colors like a rainbow. This monkey business is no joke. We're just cooking in the kitchen and we see a monkey running up to the door. So now we're taking all precautions and Dave is on monkey watch while I finish dinner. Show me your weapon. He won that battle. I think beach life is really going to suit us. Feeling nice and relaxed. It's early in the morning here. We've been up for a couple hours reading and been for a swim in the ocean. So today we've got 
bit of work to do, but we really want to go and explore and find some comfortable pants for me to wear, as well as <laughs> <laughs> as well as spend a little bit more time on the beach if possible. So I think that's going to be that for today. I think something we want to try to do is wake up for sunrise every morning. We we're up this morning at like six o'clock. Six thirty. Six thirty, and the sky was just insane. She's a mute because she's eating muesli. She's in mute sleep. Nice one. It's so bright. Okay. But in this video, we're going to show you guys where we would recommend to eat in Diani and what we've been eating for the past couple of days and the next coming days. And our first stop is actually eating at home. So we always try to book a place with a kitchen and Tequila Sunrise in the Sky Cabana where we're staying has one. So we're going to grab a tuk-tuk and go to Chandarana and get a couple groceries. walk to the road to just grab a tuk-tuk has turned into a mini safari walk. There are some, I want to say vervet monkeys right there and in the road a colobus monkey which are so cute and such beautiful monkeys. So the monkey won't get out of the road and there's actually like quite a few, no Dave don't throw anything. Uh, and there's actually quite a few surrounding the area that we need to cross and some baboons which are not the friendliest of monkeys so we don't know what to do <laughs> please move monkey all right so we were a couple oh, another one there's so many monkeys on this property we were a couple of chickens and went and asked the staff if it's okay that we just walk by it and then as we walked near it with her, the woman who works here, it ran away. So. <laughs> All together was about 3,500. It was not that much in here. For lunch right now, I think I'm going to make us some avo toast with maybe some crushed chickpeas to get some protein and an egg on top if the avocados are ready because it's clearly not avocado season as we always keep buying bad avos. we had for lunch is um, we had toast which was round weird but kind of yummy with a chickpea smash where I just put tomatoes parsley olive oil salt pepper lemon garlic and it was delicious and then on the other piece of toast we had eggs and now for dinner we want to try and find a local place where we can get a really delicious curry that's pretty cheap and there's a fisherman's village right next to us so we're gonna go and check that out and see what we can find Just checked out the little fisherman's village restaurant next to right next to our accommodation thinking it was going to be maybe a nice cheap option get some seafood and a curry or something like that but it turned out to be really expensive almost more expensive than the fancier restaurants down the beach so we're going to kind of weigh up our options a little bit go check out some other restaurants on the beach all right so we went for a walk 
all the way down the beach and then we came back to the initial restaurant at the fisherman's like community right next to our accommodation um, we just thought this place looked interesting it had some good uh, options on the menu um, and we wanted to just kind of su support the more like local establishments the other place we found was more of a resort down the other end so we thought this would be better we're getting a vegetable curry and they're missing some of the key ingredients so we're getting like half of the vegetable curry and we're also getting uh, a fish curry and we're getting two coconuts for some Madafu. hydration madafu is what it's called so we're getting two madafu What? There's still the lake. As they didn't open it. You know what I want to do? What? Get this coconut, like scoop it out, get some sort of barbecue sauce mm -hmm. and do like a um, tofu barbecue kind of thing. Or um, make it into bacon. Like before.